So what's good, fam? Guess who's been Zach? Anyways, Angel took Amar, not Amar, the twins to a uh, birthday party. Um, they got invited too. So I'm bringing him up here to the store because I'm looking for him a new B-I-K-E, one with pedals. Because he knows how to balance and he knows how to pedal. We just got to uh, couple the two together now. Um, so it's a surprise for him. I told him we're going to get a surprise. And then uh, also Marcus needs one as well as Angel. Um, Angel don't know she's getting one, so I don't know if she'll be happy about it or what, but she need to go riding with the rest of the goddamn family, damn it. Instead of always finding something else to do. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in here and see if they have something for them. There was two bike shops that I wanted to go to. Problem with those is, you know, they're usually privately owned, so a lot of them ain't open on Sundays. Um, that's what today is. I know Target's gonna be open, so I'm gonna go up in here and look for at least something for him, and then I can go to the bike shops on a different day for Marcus and Angel. But anyway, fam, let y'all see what we end up with. He's ha he's in a good mood. Heard he traveled good. So he's on a roll right now. Yeah, so getting him a bike. They didn't have any already up. These are all too big um, for him anyway. So this is something I don't understand. We was gonna get the Paw Patrol one, but that one will be too small by the end of the summer. So I was like, oh, they got a Spider-Man one. This is my problem. I never, even as a kid, I never understood this with bikes. I'm a grown ass man, I still don't understand. For males bikes, why is this bar always so high versus the girls? when it swoops down. Why did they design bikes like that? I don't, can't tell you how many times I heard myself as a kid on this bar. If my bike was shaped like this, I wouldn't have had that problem. While learning how to ride a bike, that was excruciatingly a bad idea, I hate it. So, I'm gonna get him this one instead. I talked him into this one over that one because I don't want my sons to have to deal with the sidecar. I can't remember if their bike has that, but they already know how to ride at this point. They ain't got to worry about it. This is a must. That way if he falls off, slips off of that or whatever, his feet's going to hit the ground before his nuts hit that goddamn bar. It's such a stupid design. I don't understand it. And I see how they try to compensate it where the bar ain't all the way up here like it used to be. It's down a little further, but still, come on y'all. They got to do better. So, put the bike together. You gonna keep riding it? Not right now? All right, the pedaling concept is a little different from his big wheels and other stuff. And he can balance. We just have to couple the two on a bike. Cause we have that one bike, the little Scooty, where it has no pedals, he just scoots on it. He balances just fine. He holds his feet up, starts at the top of the driveway, rolls down, turns. But uh, the concept of pedaling on this bike, because it's more travel, so he keeps coming back to stop. Um, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit. And the bike's a little big for him, but once he gets the pedaling thing figured out and the balancing thing, he'll be fine. Um, I did have to tape up, there's a little wire, because it has a front brake, a brake, a uh, handle brake, and the cable that runs down it, cables it stuck me like a goddamn needle I had to like cut that and then tape it up um I was bleeding there for a second anyway it's my last time doing this god dang teaching these kids how to ride bikes and it's always hot when I do this I don't know why I don't do this in the winter time there you go so now he's he keeps going on heels to ride down him because he wants to go faster he don't like how slow he's going but I'm like you gotta pedal faster. So he's struggling. Now he's, he think he's cussing at it, hold on. Yo, you gotta turn though. Yeah, you already start, I might have to. Yeah, 
It's gonna be a little harder than your other one. Yeah, I'll give it about a week or two and we'll take those pedals up off of those training wheels up off of there. Cause you already balancing. So this is what he's trying to do. Get it up here so it can roll down and he can go faster. You like it? Yeah? All right. Let me go ahead and put a hat on. Because it's hot. Yeah, see, there you go. That's how you stop. It's a little tall for you. Oh, seat's all the way down though. It ain't gonna be tall for you by July. Way y'all growing. Once he gets going, he fixes his balance. So yeah, he's our, oh yeah, my bad, trying to see it. He's already balancing. Um, I probably raise those raise the uh training wheels a little bit so they're not helping as much because he like i said he knows how to balance anyway we out yeah he just went back inside i raised the pedals and they not even touching the ground so it's just the height of the um what you call it, the bike he's got to learn to work with that but yeah i raised those pedals and he was riding and they were barely they didn't touch the ground at all so he knows what he's doing we'll get it figured out anyway it's hot i'm going inside too it's been about a month since we picked up the vlogging camera. Oh, um, three weeks. But today is a special day because what day is it, fellas? Last day, day of school. school. Oh, are y'all excited? Yes. Are you sad? Yes. Kind of. Kind of. Some of this. Oh, it's, you just put it on the kitchen it's counter. Right there. Look, look here. It's also Golden. another Golden. special day. Little Marcus. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um, come on, babe. Me and I got medals like this. Mhm. Mm I might both mine, but yeah, me and I got medals for doing something. Yeah, it's something called combine. Oh, but you guys probably know it. Mhm. Mm Good job. Congratulations. And like and subscribe <laughs> and hit the bell. Yes. Yeah, you need your gown, the stole that we bought. Come on. I don't think y'all heard it. Ooh, I should knock some of this shine off my face. I'll be right back. Oh, I didn't know it was blue. You got the African stole? Mm -hmm. You ready? Did you do your hair? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's happening for you today? Graduating. From? Middle school. We have a high schooler. I'm a Y'all see my sleeping baby? He was at a party last night until almost midnight. He didn't get home until after midnight. I am on my last drive to my twins bus stop, which was little Marcus's bus stop for six years been the twins bus stops for two years and I won't ever have to drive to this bus stop ever again and I am just so happy about it I don't even know I don't even it's just uh, there's no traffic today and I praise God for it but it won't matter any other day anyway Cause it's the last day of school Yeah Love it Y'all feeling good? Y'all got all your stuff? Alright, y'all have a good day I'm gonna pick y'all up from school, okay? How you feeling? Sleepy and cold no, I know you're cold. It, California get on my nerves with all this gloomy weather. Let me know when you want your croissant. Class of 2027. This is him right here, looking swaggy. 
Good job. Today is Friday. Marks his graduation. That's where Angel is. That's where I'm trying to get to. These past two days. God dang. I, uh, as y'all know, graduations today. Uh, I had picking up stuff for a Mars class because they have a uh, thing for getting prepared for this uh, tour and trying to remember. I would have had this stuff delivered last night, but of course it slipped my mind because we got so much going on. Um, it's been so I'm definitely gonna be late to him. I already dropped tomorrow off. Let me see. I need whipped cream, three bananas, strawberries, apples, blueberries. I got everything. Um, yeah, it's so easy to forget something, and that's exactly what I've done because I've been to just having stuff delivered. So, anyway, I'm hustling and bustling. I'll probably be like 20 minutes late, um, to be honest with you. So, it is what it is. I uh, don't know how much they're gonna get done in 20 minutes, but the, the whole thing is like two hours long, so I think I'm good. Anyway, oh, shoot, I'm gonna go to self checkout. I didn't want to because these bananas, uh, uh, not the bananas, the apples I got away. That's annoying. Y'all, I try to be respectful of these people checking receipts. There's no law, rule, or code that's saying that you have to stop and let them look at your receipt. If I'm in a rush and there's a line, you're not getting my receipt at all. Sir, sir, man, I got to go. You got too many people in line. Can I skip line? I'm not gonna be rude enough to skip these people in line because they've been waiting too. But I got somewhere to be, homie. I hate to do that, but there's no authority there. Um, anyway, I don't know how y'all feel about that. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. There's absolutely, like I said, I'm never rude to the people. Not, not, most times I let them check, but like I said, if I'm in a hurry, I, I can't, I'm not gonna sit there and wait in line and let you count people's uh, stuff in their bag and see what they got. Um, anyway, shoot, let me get back over here. I'm looking all the time, you know, be like, what's up with my mirrors? Why aren't they coming out by themselves? Anyway, y'all, I'm acting like Angel right now, just narrating what I'm doing. I'll talk to y'all in a second. only 12 minutes late but parking of course pushed me out another seven minutes or so anyway I am uh, I can't tell which hopefully I ain't in front of the thing I think I'm walking up behind the ceremony so everybody's gonna see me walking in oh well she has had stand-up performances as Cruella DeVille in Disney's Descendants mm -hmm. Ms. TV in Willy Wonka mm -hmm. And most recently as the White Witch in The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. <laughs> she could rescue all and save the day on faltering projects, but she diplomatically makes suggestions to her peers as how to improve or complete their work, allowing them to be successful as well. She listens intently, considers all perspectives, and persuades effectively. She leads by example and sets the bar high for her peers and her teachers. Above all, she is kind and a good friend to all. Please welcome to the stage, Kayla Pashal.
Hello and welcome parents, friends. Thank you for being here today to celebrate the promotion of our eighth grade class. If you were to ask any high schooler about their middle school experience, I bet it would be utterly different from ours. They would probably talk about the excitement of walking in the door in sixth grade, all the amazing first year activities, and getting to make new friends. Unfortunately, we didn't have those moments and we can blame that on COVID. When we started middle school in 2020, we were still in quarantine. Everything was shut down, including schools. So we started our middle school experience online. I was so excited to have a couple weeks off of school. I'm sure we all were. But as those couple weeks turned into months, I started to miss it. I missed seeing my friends daily, doing group projects, and it was much easier to learn in person than through a computer screen. Basically, I missed having a regular everyday life. Staying home was very tough, so when we were able to go back in person, I was ready. Ready for new experiences, ready for a new school, ready to go back to normal. Walking onto the campus for the first time post-pandemic, I felt right at home. Everyone was so welcoming, and my teachers were probably the nicest teachers I've had in a long time. Even with the fact that we still had COVID precautions like wearing masks or sitting four per table at lunch with plexiglass dividers, I immediately made friendships that I know will last a lifetime. When they talk about finding the silver lining in a situation, finding it during the pandemic was mine. It gave me the opportunity to try many different things that I've grown to enjoy and love like theater and choir. I was also given the opportunity to try different sports and become closer to my teammates. So, I say all this to show how we didn't let anything stop us from being the best that we can be. We pushed through online learning and made it out, and we made it through the entire year without actual interactions with each other. We went another year with so many limitations and safety procedures, and we made it out strong. I know that for eighth grade, things were a lot better than the years before, but I'm sure some will agree with me when I say that eighth grade was just as tough with preparing for high school and especially when our Sequoia trip was canceled. <laughs> I know it was canceled for reasons that can't be controlled, but I was so ready for that trip. But through thick and thin, we pushed through and worked hard until the end. We did our work in and out of class and we were rewarded with many fun trips like DC and were able to change our Sequoia loss to our LCAP gain. With the support of our amazing friends, teachers, and faculty, we completed our final year of middle school strong. No matter where your high school journey will be taking place, just know that you'll always have the knowledge and the friends you've gained through the last three years. And so, as we end the era of our middle school years with our worries for what's to come in the next four years, just know that if we can survive and thrive through a global pandemic, we can survive and thrive through high school. Thank you. <laughs> I thought perhaps uh, the best way to start is by saying what I've said to so many people on campus this year. My homeroom is awesome. The accidentally named Future Sick is a wonderfully diverse group of students with backgrounds from all over the world. Europe, Central America, the Middle East, South Pacific, and nearest to my heart, Kentucky. Hey! <laughs> Our homeroom proudly features champion student athletes in football, basketball, and volleyball, award-winning singers from the choir, show-stopping performers from our school plays, including Willy Wonka himself. Hey. We have right. orchestral musicians, avid outdoorsmen, campus club leaders, daily whiteboard artists, gamers, and chess enthusiasts. <laughs> Our classroom was always lively, energetic, musical, warm, and welcoming to everyone, including the one member who didn't want to join us at first. We're all glad you did, and we would not be the same without you. I am grateful to all of you, individually and collectively, for being a blast to start the day with every morning. And for that, I thank all of you. I am proud and honored to present my homeroom advisory for promotion to upper school. Marcus A. Tingsley II. Let's go, Marcus! Woo! That's right! <laughs>
To you know, graduate and whatnot. Not, nothing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Did you hear a screaming for you? Yeah. yeah. Who you took your robe off? I got my picture. You can, you can put it back in. I'm so proud of you. I cried as soon as they told us to take our seat. I was like, oh no, it's happening. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh. Oh, yeah, put the stove How do you feel, in. Mom? Girl, so emotional. <laughs> but I was able to keep the tears in while he walked across the stage. Help him put it on, baby. He's strong. But all the other times. What you mean? Oh yeah, I cried. Yeah. As I get ready to cry. I right love, now. I love, love. His oh, I love your daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Look how long this thing is. So this is our. You dang right. Uh, that's our step and repeat, guys. Uh, wow. Is this? Is it getting more real? So wait a minute. So. How should we do this because of, I guess it'll, it'll fit. Oh yeah, Vinny's, Vinny's truck is longer than mine. Right. Okay. Don't make me seem like I'm stupid. Okay, well let me think about Girl, it too. You don't think, you do. <laughs> we'll see if it'll work. Look at these, look at this. Y'all see him? Y'all can't see him. He is not out. I wish y'all could see him. Look at that boy. They all sleep. Thank God. But uh, we're about to head to the mall. One, to get Marcus's truck. Two, to get uh, his outfit together for the show. Oh my God, I'm falling apart, y'all. <sighs> falling all the way apart. All right, we're about to get some food too. Got this whole cool vibe. Hi, long way. So we're at the mall finally. Cheesecake Factory is where we're going because we are fancy people. Um, no, we're starving and. Cheesecake Factory has 50 million options, so everyone can find something they like. Oh, Breakfast 21 used to be right there. They're really redoing it. My son is trying to hurt me. I'm not. He didn't try to kick me. <laughs> so, we're hungry. It's time to eat. Did step on my foot one more time, Marcus. I, I will body slam you. I didn't mean to. Okay, so we're gonna have to talk loud because there's so much music playing. But side, tell them what you ate. I ate a cheese flatbread pizza. Okay, and Marcus, what did you have? I had fried in a chicken parmesan. 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 What did you have, Kai? Yeah, some fries. What did you have? Skinny delicious grilled salmon and a margarita. And one margarita. What did you have? Bang bang chicken and shrimp with broccoli, some stuffed mushrooms, fried calamari, a little bit of ahi. Uh, stuff right there. Oh, I had a uh, Korean. What is it? Korean. Uh, uh, not Brussels sprouts, but cauliflower. Cauliflower. I had the white chicken chili with a margarita. I'm the only responsible adult here today. For once in his life. Uh, so yeah, this is our celebration dinner. I mean, lunch. It's the end of the summer. We did not get Amar. I'm gonna pick him up right after this. And then 
What did I say? The end? Yes. The beginning of the summer. <laughs> I'm going to pick up Amari after this and then I'm going to go home and get in the bed. What's up, y'all? It's the end of the day. We're exhausted. It's been a long one. We thought we would be in the bed taking a nap. It's now night, night time. It's no longer nap time. It's not. We're breaking down stuff for, from the tour. We did a run through. Um, we got, thank you. We've got less than two days left for the first show. Um, so, uh, we just have a lot of elements. Boys are about to finally do the things I got them for Easter. Little Marcus is cold, apparently. I didn't take this off. Cause he thinks he's cute. He is though, he looks like me. I'm seeing it more. Y'all say it all the time. And I don't be seeing it because he looks like a boy and I don't. But, I just now realized we have this, like pretty much the same nose. And that really does a lot for a face. A nose really. What are you doing Marcus? You supposed to be doing this. Oh. Anyways, uh, my song is about to be on the radio. So, uh, I was gonna help clean up, but my husband did it. I said I was gonna help clean up. I was, I was about to come in here to put up the stuff. Where are you? Yes. I realized that we didn't vlog any of the like pieces of run through because we were focused on it. Come on and lay down with me on these couches. We about to be some old people sleep near me. Oh, I'm so tired. 